Hi guys, this is my review after about one day with this laptop cooler. I choose on S008. Um, yeah, it's pretty cheap, at least at the moment. It's around $12, down from almost $50. I think 50 would be really a little bit too high. Uh, 12 dollars is really cheap. Some something in the middle would be still okay, I guess. It comes with one year <coughs> warranty, and it has six heavy-duty fans. It fits up to 17-inch uh, laptop, and it has this lift tripod thing. So, yeah, that's the back side. There's a unboxing which I've already done here some details on the box. The laptop cooler itself is pretty lightweight. Um yeah, it's I think it's more or less sturdy. It won't break too fast, I think, but it's yeah, probably not not really heavy duty and also the fans. I mean, there's nothing like really heavy duty, but these are six nice fans. And yeah, um, I will show you now this lift thing, this lift tripod thing. I always have to figure out how you can open that here at the front. And then you have this flap where you can hold your laptop. So you put it on top of it. So the flap um, yeah, prevents from falling down and then you can use it. It has some different angles. Let me show it from the side. Hope you can see that a little bit. So you can adjust it at different heights, but it's it, it's not very easy. So here there's the next level, here one down, and yeah, that's probably it. Yeah, about three or four levels. What I had wished it would be a little bit. Uh, lower level which uh, you can just raise the back a little bit like that but this is not the case so I am not sure if it's really helpful uh, this lift thing but yeah if you like it um, yeah it's here what we have to say about this size it really fits perfect for 15 inch this is a 15 inch laptop and it also fits for 17 inches so it also is mentioned here 17 inches so I have to say I have another laptop which is 17 inches and it fits perfectly no problem at all the only thing is when you have some overheating problems with a laptop and you decide to buy something like this the, you have to be aware that the only uh, additional air is coming from the button and then you have to check if your air intake for, of your laptop is really at the bottom like here so here you can see this um, is spared out and it has a, a fan uh, right here so obviously some air, I mean the best thing is to test, to, to put it on power and then test where uh, how your airflow is uh, within your laptop. This could be like that the air comes down instead of uh, that's an intake. But here I think as far as I remember that's really an intake and that's the exhaust so it would be good. To have some additional air from the fan but it has to be aligned because you see the fans don't go to the edge Pro I, I hope you can see that 
there's a little bit a gap defense go just until here and on this side you have no additional air at least not much maybe just a little bit more so if you have your intake on the side it won't be perfect if you have the air intake in the middle then it would be perfect in my case i have an asus uh, rog um, gaming laptop and the air intake is in the back so there's a little uh, there are small uh, gaps uh, at the bottom where there are additionally air intakes but not much 90% of my air intake is in the back so yeah I've tested this with gaming and I found out that the temperature dropped maybe by two degrees Fahrenheit if any at some point I thought I had the impression that it didn't drop at all but it's just due to the fact that the, the air intake is in the back instead at the bottom so before you buy make sure it really fits for your needs otherwise it's a waste of money and time I mean uh, there is air coming out of this um, cooling uh, laptop cooler it does its job, no problem. You, uh, it comes with this uh, strange cable. It's like two sides the same, but I mean, it doesn't matter, it works. So you can plug it in at your laptop or uh, USB hub. And then uh, I'm showing you here with this uh, mobile phone charger, so you can see the nice lights. I turn off the additional light again so you can see that and I hope you have been able to hear that it's really um, uh, really quiet so the fans are really really quiet so no complaints about that but the airflow is not like super strong you can feel it uh, just a little bit I mean yeah uh, I think there are stronger laptop coolers around definitely they say this should be like uh, you see here on the packaging six heavy-duty fans I mean yeah so in my uh, based on my opinion it's not heavy-duty they are nice they provide a little bit of additional air but nothing like heavy duty and you you don't have anything where you can adjust the flow there's no wheel no nothing at least I haven't found anything I've been checking uh, everywhere there's no wheel and also there is no switch to turn off uh, on and off so with many laptop coolers you have uh, like a wheel where you can uh, adjust the airflow more or less and you can turn it completely on and off here you have to really plug the cable or I mean when you have plugged it in at the USB port on your laptop and you um, you put your laptop on sleep or completely shut it down it usually uh, cuts off the power and then um, it, it, it's done so but if you're using uh, I mean sometimes you run out of USB uh, plugs and then you need to take an additional uh, USB um, USB hubs and you want to plug this in at the USB hub which is not connected to your laptop which has uh, maybe additional uh, power so then you have to unplug uh, this cable after working otherwise it runs 24 7 which is not intended of course the good thing is I checked uh, turned it on again here you have the plug on the right side and you have also a plug on the left side 
that's really really good I mean sometimes you have um, USB pl USB plugs on your laptops on your left side sometimes you have it on the right side so wherever you have it it will be perfect because you can choose on which side you plug it in that's the good thing but you also have to be aware that it eats some of the height uh, a lot of people use a stand for their laptops let's say you have something like this and on top you have a stand where your monitor or computer screen is and so you maybe have a gap like this um, between the the uh, laptop and your computer uh, external computer screen so and sometimes you have to open it to start like uh, yeah here it's really bad because of a lot of laptops have the power button in the back so it's not enough when you open just a little bit and push here some have it on the side and it's perfect then it's no problem but when you have something like this you have the power button in the back and you have a stand on top of that you have to grab with your finger so it's it's uh, it might still work without a cooling pad but think when you have a cooling pad and your laptop on top of it and you have still the stand for your computer uh, screen then the you it's probably not possible to open the lid enough to grab your power button in the back so that was also a problem in my case I mean in my situation I had this problem so I actually uh, I think I won't use this uh, I keep it on the side for somebody um, yeah where, where it uh, fits better so somebody that has a air intake at the bottom maybe in the middle and has more space not such a tiny gap for the computer screen uh, stand so but overall I mean $12 it's not much I can't complain but the um, power button the uh, lack of a power button or um, adjustment wheel yeah that's a little bit thing and it really has not so much power so I mean I would give maybe two or three stars out of five definitely not more so I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that if you thinking about buying a laptop cooler if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time